Hello, and welcome back, Josh, Sam, and anyone else who's watching, to Swindon don't you forget about me. Um, we have played a game. We lost somehow 1-0 to Leeds. Uh, we were poor. Um, we had a man off, fairly ambitious. Felipe was sent off on 11 minutes. They scored on six, and we didn't really recover. Um, but whatever, maybe we've got eyes on the prize of the Dundee United game. Um, probably. Regardless, we have to play uh, Ipswich Town first. Uh, they are still relegation threatened, although they are by no means guaranteed to go down uh, after a fairly impressive second half of the season where they've uh, turned things around for themselves, considering at one point they looked like they were nowhere near likely to stay up. Um, but things are looking okay for them, I guess, and we need to beat them. Uh, quite handily so we're going to try something new we're going to put Beckon in up front because we've had nothing new and particularly good from Roy still uh, obviously this would be a good game to give him some game time and get some goals but heck we're going to give Beckon a game um, let's see what we can do Rick White in the back there I'm going to say to them assertively come on lads and I'm going to say passionately come on lads so let's do it uh, we've got a team that's more than capable of beating Ipswich Town. Although, I, I think, didn't we lose to Ipswich earlier on in the season? Or was it Charlton that we lost to? We lost to one of these dreadful teams um, at home earlier on in the season. I think it might have been Charlton. Um, it could have been Norwich. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. It was one of the two of them. And it was embarrassing. I think I recorded it. You'll remember better than I do. Um Anyway, let's see what we can do. If they win, they're very close to... And they've got a game in hand as well, so if they win this, they are very close to the edge of getting clear. If we win, we go ahead of Tottenham on... I think we'll be going ahead of them on Golden Difference. Um, they've obviously had a very poor run of form because we've got two games in hand over them even after today. And uh, and yet we're only three points behind them at present. Um, oh, Pelletier giving a foul away. <sighs> anyway, let's see what happens. <laughs> um, the the dream to get to fourth is probably gone. They uh, like Chelsea are nine points ahead of us with a game in hand, even over us now. Um, so it seems unlikely that we'll be able to catch up to fourth. But we could make fifth place our own. Um, would that be sec two fifth place finishes in a row? I think we finished fifth last season, or maybe sixth. Not sure, but uh, basically it looks like we're going to uh, have a decent season. Uh, can't complain. Uh, obviously getting to the semi-finals of the FA Cup is a strong season as well. Getting to the semi-finals of the League Cup is strong. And getting to the semi-finals of the Europa League is strong. Um, nevertheless, we do need to finish strongly uh, if we are hoping to fulfil any of those things. And the fact that we are struggling against Ipswich doesn't fill me with great amount of hope they have not scored have Charlton still scored an embarrassingly low number of goals yes but Norwich similarly did have Ipswich have picked things up a bit but they have shipped a lot of goals so we should be looking to take advantage of that Clive Wheeler completely unnecessarily taking out Beckham giving us a penalty that apparently Shehu is going to take again I need to check up on my list of penalty takers because I'm not sure why he's that's his second penalty in a row he's taken he did at least score that one. Uh, would have been nice if he had scored uh, against our friends Man United in the uh, FA Cup semi-final. But whatever. Was that against them? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, or no, was it? Not? It was some other game. I think he. Anyway, he missed. He's missed. Oh, it wasn't that. It was the Leicester game. Anyway, we're one nil up, and that's good. That's kind of calmed the nerves a little bit because uh, the the uh, oh. Okay, foul there. The result that we had against, uh, who was it that we just lost to 1 0? Leeds, that result left the team on quite low confidence, um, despite the fact that they came off that having uh, pushed Manchester United well in the uh, semi final of the FA Cup and having just uh, waltzed past Galatasaray. Uh, the confidence was a bit low. So it's good that they've uh, picked themselves up early in this game. Ortega puts the ball in. No, we didn't get another shot. But Branfilov puts the ball over the bar. Unfortunate. Should have really seen something from Wilmot or Shehu there. That's what you would have expected. Danny Boy at the back there. Wheeler, McAllister, Remnant. Good save from, is it, are we playing Dursun Oksoy in the goal today? Give him a chance at, towards the end of the season as we give uh, Johansson a chance just to play in the 
um, in the cup games. Jurgen Becker now, he's in behind the defence. Can he put the ball back? No, but Chavaria, no. Very poor ball. If he'd put it, played a better ball, we could have been in with a tap in there. But no, it wasn't to be. Chavaria, Pelletier, Chavaria again. Oh, Archibald in goal. Good name. Um, he cover, he gathers the ball nicely. Okay, Brenfilov. He just doesn't have the finishing that you need to have in that position. He, he's, he's often getting the ball on the edge of the box. Gilich does occasionally just whack one in, but uh, Brenfilov doesn't do that enough. He has on occasion scored. I think he's scored one or two. Um, but you know, even Gillich has a better scoring rate than that. We need to improve. So they're moving the ball around decently. It's been a fairly even game in terms of chances, and uh, that's reflected by the fact that Randall has just scored. Bastard. <sighs> dear me, dear me, dear me. Ah, would it ever be so with Swindon? Always giving away stupid bloody goals against teams who are absolutely crap. Anyway, Shehu, Wilmot, Shehu. Where was the utterly dominant... Po oh, that's a great ball. Beckon. Good finish, but he was offside. I thought he might be, but then being as he then took... It, it was a very late flag. White. Good tackle. Pelletier to Beckon. Where was the... Where's the dominant kind of performance like we had against Leicester the other week? That was that was a sensational performance. Oh, Beckon. Of course, he doesn't score when he has an actual chance, but when he's offside, he scores beautifully. Another wasted corner there. Out to Wheeler on the other side, and that's surely half-time. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, the confidence is not looking good. Unlucky, boys. And then Calm. There's a lot more to come from you. We need to keep the confidence up because we have two very big games coming up soon uh, against the mighty Dundee United. And we need to make sure that we are able to take full advantage of the opportunity we have been given with our fairly favourable tie. Uh, McNamee, come on. Great tackle. Oh. I feel like they did this to us last time as well. And maybe, I, maybe it wasn't Ipswich, but I feel like we had a similarly frustrating game against Ipswich previously. Oh. Randall. What can we do to change things up? Not got much by way of options. I don't want to knack a fall before the game, but I'm going to have to take him off. Bring him on, sorry. There you go. Let's let's see what we can do here. Pelletier gives it up to Chavaria to Beckon. Beckon slips it through. Surely he does. Wilmot must finish there, and he does. That's the Wilmot, the clinical Wilmot that we like to see. 2 1 up away from home at Portman Road, home of football in uh, Ipswich. <laughs> and uh, Swindon oh no we're still one point behind Tottenham okay that's fine but we do still have two games in hand over them yeah. if only Chelsea if Chelsea could lose their next four games in a row that'd be great we can catch them as well <laughs> it's not going to happen though unless they are very much distracted by their semi-final with uh, Maccabi Haifa uh, Wilmot now good tackle from their player that's annoying but they've madly just passed it straight back to uh, Wilmot and Beckin loses out. It's a very sloppy bit of football in the middle of the park there, but maybe we can take advantage here. Beckin gives it up to Wilmot. That's what we wanted to see. Wilmot now gets behind the defence, maybe. No, he cuts back inside. Ball's crossed in. Who was that? Branfilov doesn't manage to get there, but he gives it out to Fall. Fall doesn't score again. And we are... Well, that was a decent little productive spell. Should have had a header maybe from Branfilov. Full, if only he could finish better, would have scored us a third there. It's a concern. Durson Axoy, great save. Great save. Uh, McNamee now. Edge of the box to Rahic. No one's coming out. We're not driving out of the box. <sighs> Rahic, Branfilov, Wheeler, Remnant. Oh, yeah, it looked like a penalty. Um... Do we have... Okay, so Borgo and Thingy are tired. Novotny is going to have to come on for Chavaria. Um, and we're going to bring on Paolo Perez for Ortega because he's just going to have to because Borgo needs to play in the next game. And I don't think we have our right-back fit yet. Um, fall, crosses. Oh, Riedel 
goes for the header and yet again does not score. Forest Green are doing all right this season. They're, uh, are they, are they possibly on for a top 10 finish? Yes, they're 10th. Not bad from Forest Green Rovers. Remnant now trying to get in behind us, but Durson Axoy gathers the ball nicely. Puts it up to Perez, who's not playing in his normal position. That's fine for now. I mean, we're playing it switch. Oh, Beckham's been put through and he finishes calmly. Lovely to see. 3-1. 3-1. That's what we like to see now. Putting a little bit of authority onto the game. Manchester City are absolutely rampant. 91 goals, 10 more than the next best side. We are lacking in the goal scoring area, as you can see from that uh, list of goals scored there. We're not even in 60. I know, I know we've got a few more games left. Um, oh, Beckon. Oh, good good recovery there from Simpson. Nobody on our side decides to, 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 to press, but fine. Borgo. Back to Dursun. Aksoy. Novotny. Oh, great ball from Novotny up to Beckin. He really does do that well, Novotny. Like those those little turn and, and, and slipped balls. Beckin there, profiting. We are 4-1 up. Close to our 60 goals. Now, uh, I would like to get to 70. I mean, we've got, what, five games left? So we'd have to score quite a lot in those five games. And I think we've got... We've definitely still got to play City. I think we may also have to play Arsenal, or if it's not Arsenal, it might be. It's it's I'm it might be it might be United or something like that. We've got a quite a tough run in, so it's good to get some points on the board as we uh, approach that. Oh oh my goodness me! That's why they are in relegation danger. <laughs> Terrible finish. Um, so we haven't quite put the nail in their coffin, but it looks like it's going to be an entirely East Angular relegation party with uh, either Charlton or Southampton joining them. Looks more likely to be Charlton, unfortunately. Oh, But considering how poor of a start these two teams have, A, Norwich should be ashamed of themselves, and B, they should be quite proud of the uh, way they've managed to turn themselves around. Because the first few games of the season, it looked like they were not even going to get double point, double, double, double numbers in terms of points. Anyway, Nyhos out to steal. Cross comes in, but it's dealt with pretty well, although not really. We're still not getting rid of it. Okay, now we have. It's a busy time at Portman Road. So they seem to have put... Oh no, okay, Wilmot. Thought that was going to just straight away get tackled. Interesting attempt at a ball across to Novotny, but we have still got the ball. Brand feel of great ball through Beckon. Beckon gets his hat trick, and that's a lovely, lovely, all of his recent praise. Who's been giving him recent praise? Anyway, 5 1. Who was ever worried? What was it? One all at half time? We've had a sensational second half. Um, although you can see from the stats there, it really has, that second half again has really done us, got us out of a fate, got us out of a. Um, a bind like against Liverpool because the first half if like considering the fact that we scored what four in the second half that means yeah well okay we're not that bad maybe just chill out Ben maybe just not be angry at everybody all the time I can't do it I can't not be angry anyway Branfilov injured right at the death and then it's over Beckham was sensational mainly thanks to Novotny I think um um, Branfield have apparently did very well in that game. Uh, I'll uh, take that for whatever it is. Yeah, three goals, two assists. Jurgen Becken, absolutely great. Uh, we need to now turn this kind of performance into a performance against the mighty, the Dundee United. Now then, do 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 attend the press conference. Uh, it was a superb win. Wilmot, a hundred. Games, lovely, lovely stuff. It was simply faultless. Jurgen was excellent, as always. Uh, I do praise the Beckham show. He's got nearly 15 goals this season, although, granted, three were just in that last game, but not bad. Can't complain. Um, yeah, uh, this this thing is I've been offered a, play, a young player from Chelsea, and often when they offer those kind of mad, they, they, they do that kind of mad thing where they sort of offer these kind of players out. I think I should always just consider it because of what happened with like uh, Pedersen, for example. But this guy doesn't look like he's that good. I mean, he's apparently supposed to be better or as good as Wilmot in the future. But for £8 million, he's not good enough. I I would need him to be 
on the edges of all those things. So I'm just going to say no to him. Now then, the big one. Three days after we play Ipswich at Portman Road, we welcome Dundee United to the county ground for very arguably one of two, one of the two of, sorry, <laughs> a pair of the, oh, I don't know, some of the biggest games in Swindon's history is all I was trying to say, um, but trying to say it in too complicated a way. Burnley 4, Leeds 3, lovely stuff, lovely, lovely stuff. Liverpool's Olkvist looking to leave. Well, you know, you were the one that left Swindon. I tried to keep you here because you did decently in the last, end of your last spell, but or end, like the end of the, the spell that you had at Swindon. But, you know, you chose to leave and then you play one game a, a season. That's even less you were getting at Swindon. Oh, a bit of a yawn now. Just been uh, um, uh, it, it's it's now about ten thirty, nearly eleven o'clock at night. Uh, Sam, who will probably be the only person listening to this, this is just after um, KFC ordering gate. Um, so you'll be able to remember exactly when this was recorded. For everyone else, that's an obscure reference that you will literally never be able to uh, unpick. So don't try. Now then, processing, uh, my old friend, you're back. Again, the uh, evening of the 25th of April was a long one. Ah, oh, it's because Vitesse have just won the Dutch Cup. Well done. So, we have... Oh, Anzi Zabahi is being recommended to us. Arsenal's 34-year-old Cameroonian right-back uh, with his 133 caps, one goal. <laughs> Um, what a player he was. I thought it was more. I thought he was sold for 31 million, but 21 million. What a player he was for everybody. Capacity crowd is expected at the county ground. That's not a shock. Last time out, we played very well. Everyone knows we are confident. Alberto, it's unlikely we're going to rush him back for this game. I'm confident as long as we stick to our plan up front. I think we've got to say Lloyd Wilmot. Dundee are all that stand in our way between us and the Euro Europa League final. We're in this to win trophies. Will you be looking for more experienced players? I always expect. That's what I always say. Um, yep, that's the thing. To uh, um, profile of his please. Well, yeah. Who knows, man? I mean, it's not my fault that we seem to be playing every three days, and we have been doing for three months. Um, Leicester Southampton. Southampton could do themselves a big favour if they win that one. They do not. They lost 4-1. That's pretty impressive. Um, Kletch-esque. I think they're a new team. Kletch-esque. Uh, they were newly promoted, but let's see. Uh, let's go up here. Oh, Alberto is back fit, but he's not going to play in this game. He might play in the away leg. Um, if he's fully fit then. But let's let's not worry about that now. Let's focus on this game. Um, we've got to take out a lot of players who are currently unable to play because I messed things up a little bit. Let's do that. We will give... Felipe can play. That's cool. Who have we got winger-wise? We've got Falls going to have to play. Novotny's going to have to play because we have couple of lads out injured so we're not gonna have very many players on the bench <laughs> uh, alberto you're gonna be sub six felipe you can be yeah that's fine felipe is actually gonna play instead of Pelletier. um do we have anyone else we could play gillich can go instead of brunfilov do we have any youth players who can fit in the team we can bring in our old friend kelvin haynes uh, victor savinoffs he's just come back from a successful loan at chester um, what position does he play and what positions do we have on the bench we could really do with a left back he can play left mid no not really interested then but you McCarran no you're crap Winter's crap and maybe then we will put we'll, we'll, we'll put Savinovs on the bench and do we have any of the actual fun players that I've signed no Cortez Atkinson useless well this is what we've got. So let's not bother, but we'll just put Savinovs on. He can take the number 23 jersey. He'd probably never make a senior appearance for us. He's not going to be that good according to the uh, according to the scouts. But then who knows what they t what that means really. Calm, I have faith. Calm, I have faith. 
let's go out there and do this boys dundee united the county ground the semi-final of the europa league let's do this beckon now in sensational form as we just saw gillich has been put through gillich with a first time effort that was unlucky and a second time effort that was insane uh, gillich has wasted the first chance of the game ortega out to wilmot now wilmot running down the wing he's got past his man and Novotny has scored. We are 1-0 up within five minutes. That happened again. Uh, happened against Galatasaray. We, you know, It's good. I didn't even bother to check the skill of the uh, Dundee team. Let's just pause and see. Um, so they're playing up front. Mr. Alex Rennie. Uh, the two-cap wonder for Scotland. Who's actually decent. He's actually not bad. Um, they've got also... They are playing that terrible... Yeah, terrible uh, Moroccan player. Um, the goalkeeper number 28 Stephen McAlpine if he ever was good it was a while ago uh, they, their best centre backs number 5 Shane Stone he's appalling how have these lot got to the Europa League final with him in, in their centre back pairing number 32 alongside him Sean Morris even worse would struggle to get into my League 1 team you've got Eamon McDade who's actually good He's had a long and storied career in Scotland and Ireland. He's okay. Um, number 12, who are we looking at there? Richie Reese. He's also fine. Not a bad player. Uh, and then in the midfield, quickly, we'll just go through. Aaron Young, crap. But has a lot, has, you know, 53 caps for Northern Ireland, not bad. Callahan, he's all right. 30, 34 caps for Wales. Uh, you got Owen Quinn. He's moving to Celtic soon. He's okay. And number seven, Ryan Kenny, who's actually decent. He's okay. And he's been scouted by us before, so he's clearly clearly we were previously interested in him. Anyway, let's carry on. We don't need to see the replay of that goal. And let's watch it again. Novotny, lovely, lovely stuff. So we've got to remember, number five is terrible. Tran is awful. Uh, most of the uh, Dundee side is poor. Hopefully we will put them to the sword in this first game and then make sure the second leg is just a formality. Felipe sent off for... Uh, like I, I think it may have been even slightly um, contentiously sent off against Leeds. It was mentioned quite a lot in the press conference that the uh, and even in the news reports afterwards that his uh, straight red card was unfair. I didn't want to talk about it because I didn't um see obviously you don't see anything and there's no point in, in commenting about it because you just get told off by your board so i didn't bother um but you know there's arguments there to be said that he shouldn't have been sent off in that game or oh, wilmot does his classic turn uh but slices wide unfortunately still one nil it's only 10 minutes gone but we have been by far the better team so far wilmot Riedel strikes the was that it must have been just the underside of the crossbar there just about didn't go over the line that's unlucky Dundee given a stay of execution. <sighs> right, well, come on, Callahan. Oh, they're making a building a nice little move. Oh, they've hit the bar. Good effort. Nicely worked move. Um who was it? Was that Rennie that hit the bar? Like Rennie's decent, so he he's actually there's potential for him to score. The other one's absolute turds. Um Gillich, lovely stuff. Okay. Full to Wilmot to Ortega. To Gillich. Oh, it could have been. Did uh, did Beckham just get a little head on that? It looked like it. Might have been going in otherwise. Can't couldn't have said. Tran was easily beaten to the ball by Jair. Gillich to Beckham. Beckham, is he gonna slop or uh, slot? Slop. <laughs> slop the ball. Oh, goodness me. Anyway. Goal kick for Dundee United. Twenty two minutes gone. We need another goal here to make me comfortable. Rennie, uh, sorry, Rennie Riedel heads over the bar. McAlpine. I mean, we are first to every ball, and if we're not first, we are straight on the uh, the players who get the ball. It's unfortunate that, oh my goodness me, it's unfortunate that we are so profligate in front of goal because we could have had a hatful already here. Fall just absolutely batters the ball out for a corner. We've had 11 shots after 25 minutes, but we have only got one goal so far. Fall crosses the ball. Riedel gets his head to it. It's another ball off the... Oh, 
It's another ball off the crossbar. Nicely worked little move there. Unfortunately, it didn't end with a shot, though. That's a bugger. Someone's coming off injured. It looks like it's one of theirs. Yeah. Someone called Cathro has just come on. Uh, I think Ortega just got booked for us. No, he didn't. Tran went for a header. was shit. Cathro, this, this number 42, where's he? 42 centre-back. So the the worst of their two centre backs has come off injured, probably just through embarrassment mainly. Um, oh, oh, Cathro, are you decent? <laughs> I mean, I suspect not. No, <laughs> he's not decent. He's eighteen. What a place to possibly be making his debut. Uh, oh, Beckham. What a touch to get past Stone, and then what an absolutely beautiful finish. Beckham continues his fantastic form with his 15th goal of the season. Let's watch that one again. The first touch is what does it here. Ortega to fall. Fall hits the ball in. Stone's for, uh, Beckham's first touch does two defenders. Lovely, lovely stuff. We are 2-0 up. And this honestly looks like a bit of a procession towards the Europa League final. Uh, not something that we were expecting way back when we had to play some of the good teams <laughs> anyway how these guys beat Fenerbahce 5-1 I mean I don't know how and Riedel is playing badly I don't know why I think that's probably just because he's missed a lot of chances um, more than his actual defensive efforts being poor because he's had hardly anything to defend against um Young there, Tran tackled. I mean, Jay has got Tran in his pockets. Um, <laughs> if you carefully don't, if he carefully takes him out, otherwise he might end up putting him through the wash. He's that far down in his pockets. What a ball to Wilmot. Good save from McAlpine. Good ball in from Gillich as well. Lovely to see. Who's taking the corners now? Fall again on this side. Jair heads past. That is a big part of our game that we need to improve. Headers from corners is very poor, and I don't know what I can do really to improve that just get defenders with better heading abilities I guess or try a defensive uh, try a, like a tactical routine but I'm not really up for that uh, Novotny crosses it's a goal for fall after a defensive mix up from Dundee we are 3-0 up immediately after half time and that's probably us in the final if I'm honest that's probably us in the final Novotny crosses the ball's deflected into the goalkeeper's hands and he palms it out to the feet of Fall, who scores. It probably is only about his fifth goal of the season. Uh, even he couldn't miss from there, despite being a notoriously poor finisher. Let's give Perez a bit of a run out. Um, anyone else who's not... Oh, let, shall we just give him his debut? Let's. Where, what position does he really play? He play? He's more of a defensive midfielder. Let's bring on Savinov's blood some youngsters why not it doesn't hurt anyone to give him a full debut might even improve him Gillich oh we could have had a fourth if anyone was ambitious enough to go for the header there three nil up we bring on a lad getting his professional debut well not professional debut he played some league two football today this season but the fact that you can bring on a league two player and and, uh, and feel like you're going to be fine tells you a lot about Hugh Dundee and I would be embarrassed if I was your manager. <sighs> That's probably going to have killed the game a bit, though, because I don't think that Savinov's is likely to uh, inspire too much in terms of creativity in the, in the centre of midfield. Uh, who else do we want to bring on? Let's bring on Roy for a bit of a run out because he's been very poor recently. Might be a good place for him to get some confidence. Fall to Roy. Roy to fall. <laughs> Ortega to Savinov. Savinov nearly scores on his debut. What a story it would be. McAlpine up to Rennie. Perez rises above him. Beckon now to Roy. Roy gets absolutely battered by number eight there, Quinn. He's, in fact, he's been injured. Is he coming off? No, he seems like he's going to be able to stay on. Jaya with a free kick. McAlpine saves. Wasn't even a very good free kick. Uh, Novotny now, I'll oh, give it back to him, uh, no, okay, we'll go, Savinov's there, wants it, doesn't get it, now he gets it to Roy, Roy scores, that's what we want to see, get a little bit, that's his first goal in something like 15 hours of football or something, incredible stat, 
So that's what we wanted to see, get him on the score sheet. That'll do wonders for his confidence, especially coming in towards the end of the season where we're going to need to use all of our strikers. Uh, Novotny crosses. Can we get a fifth, really put this one to bed? Ortega, Gilich, Gilich, Savinovs, Novotny. Big cross to the back post. Roy scores again. Yes, please. It's 5-0. Swindon Town are going to Newcastle for the Europa League final of the 2048-2049 season. Roy scores. Lovely stuff. Roy gets his late two. That's what we want to see. The only thing that way that this could get better is if Savinov scores a late surprise for, uh, sixth. But no, Novotny decided he wanted to shoot himself. Or shoot himself rather than shoot himself. And uh, now the clock just needs to wind down and that's it. Done. Gillich now. Do we have time for one more? Beckon. Novotny gets there. Crossed. Uh, unlucky. Full. Uh, Savino stays a lot deeper than um, the other guys who usually play in that position. I don't know if that's just because he's a more defensive, because he is actually a defensive midfielder. Who knows? But there we go. 5 0. Pretty simple stuff, really. Well done, lads. A good win. Can't really complain at all. Full did really well, 9.3 rating. Roy is, despite with his goal-scoring troubles recently, is uh, sneaking up the table and has the potential, considering we, we could easily fill our boots against them in the next leg, he could become the top scorer in the uh, in the competition. Now we've just got a dream about Haifa beating Chelsea. So that was, yeah, first goal in, what was that, 11 hours of football. Five star Swindon Triumph. Let's just see quickly what we have in terms of fi fixtures. Basically, what we'll do is it will be Wolves Dundee. And yeah, it was Man United Man City. Wolves Dundee in the next video, and then the Europa League final. And that will be the last video for this season, probably. Unless something amazing happens, but I doubt it. So I will see you for Wolves Dundee, and then I'll see you in the final. See you later, guys. Bye.